Hi, today I wanted to share my top tips of starting your own recruitment business from home. So number one is really start with a, a niche market. So when I went to start my recruitment business, I picked a local market so it was close to me so I could go and visit clients face to face and also something very niche. So when I say niche, it would need to be within candidate range around about 5,000 in the talent pool on LinkedIn and to have enough companies that you've seen that are potentially growing and have maybe four or five or three to four of what it is your niche area is. So let's say for instance, it might be accountants, so it might be management accountants that are with SMEs between 10 staff to 50 staff, for example. See how many is in that market, see how many jobs have advertised on Indeed and how many candidates are on LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a great tool now to find out if you wanted to build a market, you don't need any big data research. LinkedIn's the main tool where most candidates will hang out. So number one is start with a local niche market. Okay, You can expand from there but the reason why I would maintain local to start with is because you can get out there, which I'll come on to in a minute, is get out there and actually meet the clients face to face. So that's number one. Number two, I'd build a really good WordPress website for your brand and the business. Um, it should only cost you about £500 to £1,000 maximum to build a really good WordPress. You can get some really good designers out there from Fiverr.com, Freelancer.com. We'll be able to build you a WordPress site. It's very easy to manage yourself and you can add a lot to it. Make sure the branding looks cool, um, really simple, sleek. There's lots of websites you could check out that you could sort of, um, not necessarily copy from, but get some good ideas from. So number two, we'll build a, a really good WordPress site that um, gets across, not necessarily your USPs, but you need to get across the benefit and the pain point that you're gonna help the client with to really get across that your, your niche area is this specialization and this is solely what you do. That'll differentiate you enough so you're not a generic agency, you're very niche. Number three, I would subscribe to obviously LinkedIn, either premium or recruiter. Um, the reason I would do this, it would get you to the market really quicker rather than building your own database. And also I would use Google Sheets in terms of old school spreadsheets to to build that CSV file and the data from there that you can put on spreadsheets for your team or your team of resources to manage. So they're building up your um, your business client leads, which I can come on to in another um, video on how you can create leads um, on autopilot. Um, so make sure that's managed in a spreadsheet for now. You don't need to mess around and f with fancy CRM systems. Trust me, I've been down that road. I spent months researching different CRM systems, trialing. I must have tried out about seven or eight. You spend so much time being immersed, adding the contacts, then you think, actually, this one doesn't work right. When you're starting your own business, particularly your, your lifestyle business, to grow it, you don't really need all of those systems straight away. You need to get back to basics. So start with LinkedIn and a spreadsheet for your clients. Number four, I would build a dream, what I would call a dream 100 client list. So what I did, I mapped out the market and I seen who's hiring the most, who's got the most candidates within my niche. I mapped out a dream 100. I outsourced to get the, the data. So we found out two or three hiring managers point of contact. So you're either looking for a CEO, managing director, co-founder or owner and then the hiring point of contact number two would be in your department. So say for mine it was IT, so that would be a CTO IT director, for example. Find their email addresses, so again, we can put that into autopilot later to get the leads coming in. So I would build that Dream 100 list, so I had my target list of people. Over a course of time, if you set the intention out with that list, trust me, leads will suddenly come into your inbound because you've set that intention. You might meet someone at an event and think, actually, yeah, you are my Dream 100 list. I wanted to speak to you. Um, so make sure you build that Dream 100 list so you have a clear vision of what you want to do in the next 12 months. Number five would be um, outsource as many things as possible. So don't get bogged down with bookkeeping, obviously your, your website, um, building the data entry, um, managing payroll, etc., and chasing stuff. Outsource as many things as possible so you can focus on what you're good at, which is either speaking to candidates over the phone, speaking to clients or meeting clients. Okay, that's those are the money tasks. Rule number one is cash is king. Um, one of um, the people that I used to follow, James Carney, used to always say, cash is king. When I met him, um, what would have been over a year ago now, when he wanted to invest in my business, 
Um, he always mentioned to me the number one advice he would give when starting up a recruitment business is always look after the cash. Everything else will look after itself. Always keep an eye on the cash. So make sure that you're focused on the money tasks. The money tasks that I would say would be would be your candidates and your clients, putting them together, taking everything else away from recruitment. Those are the simple things that you need to make sure that you can manage. Everything else is all fancy and all cool and shiny things like CRM systems, building a website. But you need to make sure at the start you're bringing in revenue so you're doing deals, you're making placements. Um, and one of the things that really differentiated um, me in the market when I built my successful recruitment business was I sold myself. I went out there from day one and really grinded it out. So I was out there meeting clients every day, always messaging them or trying to get in touch with them every day. I didn't go out and cold call, so I always made sure I had a warm lead coming in. Again, another strategy that I can discuss in another video about how I brought in inbound leads every day of the week. So I was going out meeting clients where they already had an introduction from me. So I would go out and meet clients, get my personality across, get across how much passion I had for my start my recruitment business and what I could promise them. And that really differentiated me compared to other recruitment companies because it would just be a standard cold call saying, hi, have you got any jobs? Could Or selling in a candidate, for example. Um, I managed to differentiate myself in the market because um, I stood out by actually going out to meet the clients. So that's another thing that I would um, would be one of my tips to do would be to um, make sure that you can really sell yourself um, first. So I hope these tips um, give you a little bit of insight on, on what it is that you need to do to start your own recruitment business and keep an eye out for future tips. Thank you.